Hello, welcome to Byte Admin. Today we will be understanding what are variables in Python. Now we will create a new Python project. Press the window key on your keyboard and search for PyCharm. Hit enter. Now press on the new project. I will call this project as the complete Python. Now make sure you check new environment using and select virtual environment. We will learn more about virtual environments in coming videos. Now press the create button. So we have created our new python project. Now this section is known as project explorer. Using project explorer you can navigate to different files that are present in your project. Now click on the topmost directory of your project and we will create a new python file. I will call this python file as variables. Hit enter. Now before starting I would like to mention you one thing that whenever we are writing a program we are always managing data. If you take a software the software is always managing some data at each point of time. So with that note, let's start. Let us understand what are variables. So variables are used to store data. Whenever you need to store data in your program, you will create a variable and store value in it. Suppose you want to store your age. So you will create a variable and store value in it. Here the value 18 is stored in the variable a. Let us understand what is happening here. Suppose this is RAM of your computer. This is RAM and RAM is divided in multiple blocks. Remember anything that needs to be executed must be loaded into RAM first. So when you run your python program, suppose your python program is stored in .py file. This is stored in the hard disk of your computer. When you execute your python program, the operating system will allocate some portion of RAM to your python program. Suppose this block of memory is allocated for your python program to run. When your program starts executing, a is 18 so what will happen is suppose this block of memory is allocated for your variable a so 18 will be stored here and this block of memory will be pointed by the variable a so whenever you use a you can access the value that is stored in this block of memory variables are named memory locations we use them to store and access the value in our memory Here we have written a is 18. So the variable a is storing value 18. Now if we run our program, just right click anywhere in your editor and click on run. You will see nothing is displayed because we are just storing the value. We are not printing anything. In order to display value, you can use print statement. Write print and pass the variable which whose value you want to display. So what is happening is the print will take variable and will display the val value that the variable is storing. In our case, a is storing 18, so 18 will be displayed. If we run our program, see, 18 is displayed. Now, if you want to store your brother's age, you can create another variable and you can store your brother's age. Now, if we run our program, See, it is not displaying the value that variable b is storing because we are not printing any value. Let's display. Now, if we run our program, you can see it is also displaying the value that variable b is storing. Now, let's suppose you want to store your name as well as your brother's name. So, you will create a variable c and you will store your name in it.
Now, if we want to store a bunch of characters, we have to enclose them inside this double quotes. So your name is Mike Tyson and you are storing that inside a variable C. Now, suppose your brother's name is Andrew Tyson. Again, if we run our program, it's not displaying your name as well as your brother's name because we have we have not displayed it. Let's display your name as well as your brother's name using print statement. Now if we run our program, you can see it is displaying the value that variable a, b, c and d are storing. I hope now it's clear what are variables. Variables are used to store data. Let us now understand what is happening in memory. When we execute our program, the variable a is pointing to this block of memory which is storing 18. Then we are displaying the value of a. Then we are creating another variable b which is storing 20. Suppose this block of memory is allocated for variable b. Now variable b is pointing to this block of memory which is storing 20. Then we are displaying the value of variable b. Then we are creating another variable c which is storing our name Mike Tyson. So suppose this block of memory is allocated for us in order to store the name. Now this block of memory is pointed by variable c. Again we are creating another variable d which is storing Andrew Tyson. Suppose now this block of memory is allocated for our variable d which is storing Andrew Tyson. Then we are displaying value of variable c and d. So this way when you execute your program the operating system will allocate some portion of the memory to your python program in order to execute it. So you create a variable in order to store value in it. Whenever we create any variable to store any value in it, we have to follow some rules for naming a variable. Let's look at some of the rules that you have to follow when you are naming your variables. The very first rule is, in order to name your variable, you can only use alphabets, numbers or an underscore. If you use any other special character to name your variable, Python interpreter will give you error. The second rule that you have to follow is, when you name a variable, it cannot start with a number. It can start with an alphabet or an underscore, but it can never start with a number. The third rule that you have to follow is, variable names are case sensitive. So be careful when you use uppercase and lowercase characters. The fourth rule is, you cannot use keywords in order to name a variable. We will understand more about keywords in coming video, but keywords are the reserved words. These words convey keywords convey a special meaning to the Python language interpreter. So these are reserved and you cannot use any keywords to name your variable. So these are some rules that you have to follow when you are naming your variables.